kiss for you. Bismillah rahman rahim welcome to my another video on android app development and so guys in this video i will be starting a new project on the video player app using android studio so let's create a new project and click empty project and make sure that you unselect this android x okay so we are not going to use this android x so let's just name the project as vid player pro 2020 okay and then click on finish and there you can see that the project will be created alright so now the project has been successfully created then the first thing is you need to set the application permission so first of all you need to we need to have the let's say if we need the internet okay so we don't need the internet but we need the read external storage permission here alright and after this we are going to okay i think there we can't have the digits here so for this we can change our package name and then we can say refactor rename and instead of this 2020 we just say pro all right okay <laughs> so that's the way of uh, changing the package name also we need to change it from build.gradle and we need to click on sync now so first of all we need to add some uh, dependencies of the libraries which we are going to use so first of all the library we are going to use is the exo player library so for this you can say implementation and then we can say like comp.google.android.exoplayer colon exo player 2.7.3 okay make sure that you use this 2.7.3 version of the library and after this we are we need to have the google material design library so we can say comp dot android dot spot design and it will be 28.0.0 okay then we need to use the okay so another uh, library which we are going to use is the glide library which is used to display the images because we need to display the thumbnail of the videos so for this we can say implementation and then we can simply say com dot github dot bump tech dot glide glide and it will be 3.7.0 then we need to use the material dip okay so i think we don't need the any other library but we need to uh, okay so we need to use some uh, the recycler view and the card view library for this so we need to use them so we can say implementation com dot android dot spot recycler view v7 28.0.0 point zero point zero then we need to use simply similarly for the card view so we can say com dot android dot sport then we can say card view and it will be version seven twenty eight point zero point zero okay so these were some libraries which we 
needed to include in our project exo player will be for the exo player i mean the video player then we will be using the card view and secular view as they are very necessary in order to do to display all the video then we have the glide library which is used to display the images so after this okay so here we have the main activity okay so another thing which i have uh, forgotten in this uh, to add the library and that is the butter knife library which is very important for you guys to know about it if you know if you don't know then the butter knife is used to uh, bind the views so we don't uh, need to write the, like find view by id and everything and all okay so it's very easy process so i always use this butter knife library in my all the projects so you must also use this so you have to learn them okay so i will be teaching you okay so how you can use the button knife library so let's say we need to add the implementation and we can say com dot take word done butter knife 8.5.1 then we can say com dot Jake Warden Butter Knife Compiler 8.5.1. Okay, so we now need to click on Sync now. And yes, these were the libraries which we have. Which, which we had to use in our project and after all the things are uh, set up so here you can see we have the uh, main activity here and inside this main activity we are going to display all the videos all right so in order to display all the videos we first of all need to use the recycler view for this so how can we can do that let me open all right guys so here we are going to use the recycler view inside our main activity so there we first of all need to use the relative layout and inside this relative layout we need to use the recycler view and we can say it to be match parent and match parent and let's set the id to recycler view all right and after this we need to now initialize this recycler view or i mean bind the view so in order to bind the view using button knife we can say bind view r dot id dot recycler view and there we can initialize the object as recycler view okay and also we need to now initialize the button knife library so we can say button knife dot bind and we can pass this current uh, activity context and also here what we are going to do okay so first of all we need to use the recycler view dot set layout manager and we need to use the grid layout manager so we can say new grid layout manager and there we can pass this and we need to pass how many rows we, we want so if we want two rows then we can pass the two as the span count then we can say recycler view dot set has fixed size and we can say it to be true and finally we can display all the videos so uh, okay so also i am not going to use the runtime permissions in this project but you have to use the runtime permissions okay so i am not going to handle it since i only want to teach you the basics okay so there we can say display all videos and we can create the function here create display all the videos
and okay so there we can we have a very lengthy uh, process for it so i will be doing that in our next part of the video series so if guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye